Hi and welcome to an introductory video about TMS Web Core version 1.2. You probably saw the blog announcement on tmssoftware.com that we have a new application type coming to TMS Web. And this article shows how you can build desktop applications with TMS Web. And that's something I had to grasp at first that you no longer have a web application, you really end up with a desktop application. After talking to a couple of people and showing them the blog entry, they immediately said, well, it's still a web application. I would immediately recognize that it's a web application and you can't fool me. I want a real VCL desktop application. So what did I do? Well, I, I started QuickBooks. QuickBooks is an application that allows you to do accounting, do your taxes, write checks, write invoices, um, communicate with your bank, introduce, um, import your transactions from bank accounts, all that kind of stuff. It's been around for a long, long time and it's very, very popular. This application is no longer only available on Windows system, it's also available for Mac. And I actually never look behind the curtain, but ever since seeing the announcement from TMS Web, and TMS Web uses a framework called Electron to create these desktop applications from web applications. And I find out this QuickBooks Desktop Pro is actually an Electron application. This person that was not willing to have a look at TMS Web because it still was going to be a web application and not a desktop application was quite surprised that QuickBooks was a web application with Electron. Another Electron application that probably some of you know is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is totally different from Visual Studio, but Visual Studio Code is actually an Electron app. And also an application that a lot of developers use is Skype. Skype now, after Microsoft taken over, is an Electron app. So you see, it's well worth looking into the new Electron approach to build desktop applications because with Electron you can also access the local resources. That means the file system, the menu bar, you can access the tray icon and all that stuff. And TMS Web comes with components that give you access to that without actually having to write certain code or special code in order to enable it. As you can see here in the article, you get wizards for the different application types. And I'm just very lucky because I got a pre 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 release of the beta from uh, TMS today. So I just want to give you a little insight how it's going to look like. As always, TMS web integrates nicely into Red Studio. And as always, you find under the Delphi subcategory, you find um, TMS web. In addition to the TMS web PWA application, you now have the TMS web Electron application. The application template prepares you by providing icons for Linux, Mac, and Windows. You also find different build configurations for the different operating systems. So if you build debug, it means it's going to be on the system that you develop on. But on this Windows system, and this makes it really amazing, I could click on Linux 64-bit, and this Windows system would produce a package that I could run on Linux. It's a little bit different for Mac OS because just like when developing iOS applications, you can't simply use a Windows PC to develop Mac applications. That is a restriction that Apple gives us. It's nothing that we can circumvent. So you will need a Mac computer in order to create desktop applications for the Mac. And this doesn't change with Electron. So we have a solution that works on the Mac, but you will still need a Mac in order to deploy to a Mac system. So how different does an Electron app look from a regular TMS web application? It's pretty simple. There is no difference at all. You still have the same components that you had before. In addition to the components that you have, you have special TMS web Electron components. You have an open dialog, to, that is um, accessing the file system, the save dialog, same thing. You have a special message box. You have a main menu, a pop-up menu. You have a tray icon and you have certain components for the file system. So you see, you can really interact with a client machine that you normally can't do on web applications. And as this is a normal TMS web core application, you still have access to the data controls, data access controls, 
to the data query controls, to the REST controls. All the FNC controls are also available, of course. I did a few videos on that already. TMS X Data, the REST solution from TMS that allows you to wrap your database in a REST database server and also add custom REST operations very easily is available as well. Basically what this means is the new version will bring TMS Web with the ability to prepare or package your applications as an electron application, which makes them a desktop application on the target platform. How this works is pretty amazing. You're not going to see any difference. So if we select debug and let's write a little application, for example, TMS edit button and um, simply do a show message or something like that, or take a second edit control. Where is it? And let's simply set the text of the second edit to the text of the first edit. Pretty simple. You have all the standard properties, of course. So here we implement it and we say web edit two dot text equals web edit one dot text. So what happens after compile, the packaging happens with the Electron framework and it's all automatic and it updates automatically. So here in the messages, you see um, that everything is being packaged and we have success. And this here is our desktop application and we get the standard debug window. This is something that comes from the Electron framework. And let's say, for example, type Bruno, set text and it's a full-blown desktop application. So this is the debug application. If we want to produce a real application that we want to deploy, we have to select a build configuration, for example, Windows 32. We run this. It looks similar, but it's not the same because the um, menu will disappear, the debug menu. So you will get an application actually that is just the window without a menu bar. Of course, you can add your main menu component yourself and then that will be shown. And you see it still works. And uh, let's see what has been produced on the uh, file system side. So we go into the Explorer, show in Explorer. And here you see the TMS web subfolder in the project that I just created. We have um, the build Win32 directory. So it's not the debug, it's the build Win32. And in this directory, you find all the files that have been used to create your application. And here is your project1.exe. This is a full blown um, Windows application. So you double click it and that's your application. There is no browser, no nothing. The same thing works for Linux. So you would select Linux 32, you would start it. And of course, coincidentally, of course, I have a uh, Linux virtual machine ready, which is booting as we speak. And uh, I'll show you um, that this project really can be used on a Linux machine. Here you see the virtual machine with Linux running. It's an Ubuntu Linux. And I simply drag the build Linux folder. I use a 64-bit system, so I had to use the build Linux 64 folder. I simply use drag and drop to drag it over. And then I found the project one file, double click it. And here's my TMS web project in Linux. I set the text to, I don't know, and there you go. Same functionality, and it's an application, a desktop application on the Linux that does exactly the same thing as a Windows application. So you, all right. So you're able to develop multi-platform from your Windows system with Delphi, building the same application for all these different operating systems. So I really hope you're just as excited as I am. And uh, if you want to read more, the article describes building a photo application 
that um, offers filters to um, change pictures, as you can see here. And we are also able to extract the uh, um, EXIF information from the picture and uh, use our Google Maps component to uh, point you where the photo was taken. And uh, that is being done using a uh, separate JavaScript library, which also shows how open TMS Web Core is for third party libraries. You can use any JavaScript library that you want. We don't need to have components written by TMS in order to be able to use the JavaScript library. Let's hope TMS will release the beta version soon because I can't hardly wait for it. Let's keep our fingers crossed. We'll have it soon. Bye for now. Talk to you soon.